rate cycle doesn't seem to be pausing. We are approaching winter and therefore might see higher energy prices, particularly gas and crude, staying elevated for the better part of the rest of the year. Um, so these two factors combined by themselves and, and quantitative tightening, um, not to forget that the geopolitical mess that we are in isn't, run, isn't showing signs of running away as well. Does yeah. it mean that markets ideally from a valuation perspective and the fact that we are not in a Goldilocks, Goldilocks scenario should pull back a little bit? You think that's what will happen? Or I, no? I think to a certain extent, as I've often said on your show, uh, much will depend on the performance of the dollar. I continue to believe that emerging markets have held up relatively well this year. In fact, I thought they might even hold up a little bit better than they've done, but they are underperforming developed markets. Uh, but only by about 200 basis points this year, which is frankly not bad. And that's uh, been despite this very, very strong dollar. So I think what's going to drive this immediately um, over the next several months is going to be the performance of the dollar and to a certain extent, of course, the performance of China. Uh, perhaps I can come on to China in a moment. But the, 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 the Fed's policy here, plus the terrible economic and inflation situation in Europe, which is much worse than in the US as far as I'm concerned, is going to keep the dollar strong. I'm not sure it goes a lot stronger, but it's going to stay strong. And that's going to keep some pressure on emerging market currencies. It's going to mean that those countries that have been very successful in raising interest rates early, like Brazil, for example, uh, they will have currency performances which are quite good. Um, India, of course, is finally getting around to raising interest rates, and that's good. And and in fact, real interest rates in, in India are negative, but they're nothing like as negative as they are in a number of other countries. So I don't see the Indian rupee being that weak at the moment. I know it's gone down, but it's in no sense in a crisis. But I think what really goes happens here from here for the emerging markets will depend on does the dollar go materially strong from here? I doubt it because I think it's overpriced, but we would need to watch that. Then we have to watch China, which clearly is not going to hit it's five and a half percent GDP growth target this year. At least that would be my view. You've got the ongoing zero COVID policy. You've now got a very, very severe drought. And I think what is going to help emerging markets, including uh, across the board, including in India, is to what extent and what stage do the Chinese really introduce much, much more relaxed economic policies as a way of trying to protect the um, trying to protect the, their economy there. And, and then finally, of course, there's always geopolitics. We've got to keep our eye, unfortunately, on this uh, on this uh, war, um, uh, you know, this Russian war against Ukraine, and uh, what impact that could have on gas prices, oil prices, which I think do stay really reasonably high, um, and what impact that will have on the global economy. And I suppose we also have to keep half an eye on the Taiwan-China situation also. But I, I wouldn't be too bearish about equities generally. The bond market rallied very nicely on, on Friday um, because what the bond market was saying was that, okay, the Fed's staying aggressive and that could be negative for the economy, but they're determined to get on top of inflation. So people wanted to buy bonds. Now, bonds have sold off a bit today or look as if they're going to sell off a bit today. But as long as the bond market stays under control and the dollar does not rally too much, I don't see that this is going to lead to another big equity sell-off. And in that environment, I think emerging markets will hold up reasonably well, even though I don't think we're going to get a big rally anytime soon.